Hello YouTube, Slacker Stacker here, and I guess you can tell what this video is going to be about. You know my logo, the dragon, and uh, in my last video I just featured the Queen's Beast Coin of the Red Dragon. Well, that made me think. I thought I'd pull out, uh, well, Sal even uh, sent me a little comment saying, uh, I told him that I collected dragons. He said something about he kind of liked to see them, so, well, here is just a portion of them. Uh, this is the very first dragon. I don't know if you can see if I'm pointing. This is the very first dragon I ever bought. First piece, pewter piece, well, sitting over the crystal globe. And uh, since then, it's pretty much exploded. I've got them everywhere. Uh, I can't remember. This is the Pena dragon. They come in several different colors, like green, white. Uh, they have like blue with uh, with violets. But, uh, just beautiful, kind of a plaster sculpture. I've, I've really fell in love with the Pena dragons, and there's a lot of them. Oh, they also have some green ones with red eyes, but uh, I've got a lot of these guys around. And uh, this particular one here is a model, uh, and it was just a kind of a plastic blase looking, as, you know, as far as plastic goes. But uh, he put this thing together. And my friend, I'm not going to mention his name for security purposes, but uh, he is just really into painting miniatures. And he hand-painted this dragon. Uh, you know what? I probably am going to regret moving the camera, but you got to see this. Uh, he hand-painted this dragon. And uh, just very detailed. Uh, it was a gift to me. And uh, I keep it in a curio cabinet, and it's you know, I, I really treasure it because you know it was it was very nice of my friend to make me that. Uh, not only am I restricted to just like figurines, uh, I have a friend that oh the light's gonna kill me on this one, but I have a friend in Washington who painted me this little dragon, and. Uh, she she knew my fondness for them that I collected them and she's somewhat of an artist herself. She's into crafting, so she uh, painted me this little purple dragon and a little little wine glass and I just love it. <laughs> and she's made the face so expressive with the green eyes and uh, she's she's a really good person. Uh, so you know, thank you and I'm not going to mention her name either. But uh, that's now let's get to. The actual silver part of it so it fits the forum. Uh, I've got four or five pieces here that are made of silver and uh, like I said the latest one was the the Queen's Beast round that I picked up and again I just I just love that dragon and uh, there's one stacker out there I'm doing this for really because his logo is also a dragon. Uh, I just call him Alex but uh, his name is Alexander R.D. And dude, I don't want to slander your last name in front of, in front of the channel or in front of the community. But but Vogt, Vogt, V O O G T. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to do. He just recently picked up a coin out of a trade that was another. It was a lot like the Queen's Beast, but the dragon was different. I don't know what that was. Uh, Alex, could you maybe in the comments tell me what type of dragon that was and uh, I thought that you said it was like country specific that it, it uh, demonstrated like a creature from that country's beliefs or uh, stories uh, I'd, I'd be really interested to know um, what coin that was uh, now if you remember I told you that there is a Nordic series out there Nordic beast series uh, I can't remember the artist names I don't have the COAs with me or I could tell you but he did one of a dragon, and I wanted to show you these two coins. They are still available, but they're only limited to a mintage of like, I think they're like 4,000. Uh, it's in your comments. I remember, I, remember I, I, I did get the number for you, and it's in the comments on one of the videos where we talked about this. But uh, this is the antique version of the dragon. Let me see if I can get that better to focus. But, uh... It's a nice, nice piece. It's very detailed. Uh, I like the the antique finish. Uh, the flip side or the reverse is of a tree, like a, kind of a a big life tree, I guess, for lack of the better words. But it has a a snake in the bottom here. It looks like there might be 
I can't really tell. I think that's just a branch. I thought maybe it was a bird perched in the branches, but then it's got a stag over here on the side uh, looking at the tree. But the, the leaf detail in this is just unbelievable. Uh, very, very nice coin. So, you know, I'm like you, Alex. When, when I see a dragon coin or, or something dragon-ish and, and I can at all afford it, I got to get it. So I, I just wanted to show you that one. Uh, I also have, it's the same coin, but I have it in, oh, come out. Uh, I've got it in the proof version. And, you know, I like the antiquing, and the antiquing is a little bit more expensive. Uh, I believe when I bought this one, uh, I can't remember, that was with Provident Metals, uh, I don't remember who I got it from, but uh, it was like 35 where this one was more like 30 uh, the proof version. But, I don't know, I kind of like the proof versions better. I like the shine of that silver, and you can still see a lot of that detail if you, if you can get the glare from blinding you on it. And again, uh, there's the tree you know, with the, the snake and the stag, uh, the, the great leaf detail. Um, like I said, they're, very, they're limited mintage, and I don't know if you can see it, probably not because of the glare, but they are serial numbered. Uh, the serial number is stamped on the edge of the coin. Uh, and it's going to be the same way with that antique version. Um, where are you? Where are you? Where, yep, right there. That's, that's the serial number. It, it's got the ribbing or the, or the little lines on the side for, for uh, not being able to cut them or, or for grip, but there is a bare spot where they stamp the serial number into it. Uh, currently, these guys are running. I checked for you, uh, Alex, because you were interested. You said it was on your list. You were looking for one. Uh, currently, when I checked on eBay, they were running about thirty-eight dollars U.S. Uh, don't really know what that translates in in your currency, uh, if you're using the euro or or what. But uh, anyway, they're they're right now. They're running about. 38 US and that was I believe a proof version that I looked up so the antique might be a little bit more They are raising up a little bit in price as time goes by because like I said, it's a limited mintage and as they sell they're, be they're becoming more rare uh, I do have another piece here uh, I'll show you uh, I don't want to say who made this yet uh, That's pending for another video, but it's a dragon and I had to show you it's a poured silver dragon. It's, I believe it's of the Chinese dragon. It's a very high relief. It's kind of a domed coin. Uh, it's, it's, oh, I've got to cover that up. It, it's over an ounce, but uh, it's a good heavy piece, very pretty. Oops, again, i got to keep that covered. And, uh, and again, it, it's a dragon. And even though it resembles a Chinese dragon, I, I just kind of I like the swirls. Just to think that that's a like kind of a hand poured. I know it's kind of like a mold or something, but but it turned out really good. I, I really enjoy this round. Uh, and then one other thing, just to show you how big into dragons I am, and it is silver. There's a signet ring. Uh, signet ring. It's got a dragon in it, and really what it's used for is, is for like letters and you see in the movies and you know, for like royalty and, and nobles and, and stuff like that or, uh, or you know, nobility. Or they write invitations or they'll, they'll send a letter or something and they put it in an envelope and what they'll do is they'll burn a candle of special wax. And it's not just like candle wax, but they'll burn that candle and they'll drip little little pools of wax on on the seam of that envelope or in that in that missive and then they'll take their signet ring or a regular signet stamp and they'll press it down on that wax and then as it cools when you lift it off there's the impression of that dragon or, or whatever signet you're using on that wax and dude I'm telling you when that wax dries it's like welded that paper you are not getting that thing open without breaking that seal and it was used in security uh, for security purposes, just for that reason, you know, to make sure that when that letter or missive reached the recipient, that it was unread because that seal was intact. But uh, but anyway, Alex, you know, these are just some of the dragons that that I have around here. Yeah, I know none of this is silver. Oh, and that's one thing I got to tell you guys. Uh, because he is in the UK, he comes across a lot of uh, coins that I'm not familiar with, a lot of foreign coins. 
Uh, it'd be really good to check out his channel if you're interested in foreign currency and the silver content. Uh, he also had, and, and this what really got us talking, is he has got a dragon pendant. It's a silver dragon pendant, and I don't remember what percentage he says, whether it was 90% or, or uh, what grade of uh, purity. But I didn't care if it was chrome or just solder poured into a into a mold. That thing was absolutely beautiful. He said he picked it up in Germany. Uh, and unfortunately, he he doesn't doesn't live in Germany. <laughs> yeah, or I'd, I'd I'd pay to have <laughs> have him go to Germany <laughs> and find another one because that pendant was just impressive. Uh, but anyway, Alex, you know, here's an example of the dragons. Of these, as far as bullion goes, these are the four pieces I've collected so far. If I see anything else, uh, I'll probably end up trying to pick that up if the premium isn't just too too much for me to handle. Uh, let me know what you think of the pieces. Uh, I enjoy your channel. Uh, folks, you all really check it out if you're interested in the foreign coins. And, and if you're like me and you love dragons, he's the one. He's another one you want to go go and check out his channel. Because he's really got some cool stuff as backdrops. Like that pendant. Oh, unbelievable. And in one video, he had a little set of chainmail armor set up uh, next to the to the items he was showing in his video and I thought the chainmail was pretty cool. I didn't ask if that was silver. I didn't know if that was just like a a little prop thing or or if that was actually silver itself. So uh, I'd be interested in knowing that too, Alex. Uh, but anyway, th thanks for watching guys. Please like and subscribe and stack on my friends.